Okay, so left over to do is not too much, just place the cover back. As I said, uh, we have to watch uh, for this air leak, see if there's the air leak of the WD-40 stuff coming in and burn it out. We'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll test it later. So this is supposed to be easy. Okay, remember that goes in here, that one goes in there, and that one goes in there. So the only thing we need to do here is to find out the thing, the holes, apply some pressure. Okay, that's one, that's two, and that's three. Everything is cleared up. All the cables are okay. And now we're gonna put the the knobs, the screws. I think they are 10 millimeter. So with a 10 millimeter wrench. Okay. One is in there. We'll tie it up later. And the second one. This is a little harder. So deeper so make sure okay there you go with this extender if you have a long extender it will help you out to do this job very very much okay okay it's tight okay tight okay great and the last step is to place the cover with the four screws Okay, unscrew. Two screws. Okay, three screws. And four screws. Over that, four, third. Okay, okay. 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 Four screws. And then we use the three millimeter Allen key to tighten them up. Okay, one. Two. Three. And four. All right, so hold on, just hold on. Let's make sure they're tight nicely. Don't over tighten them there. And there. All right, guys, job done. We'll go for a ride, show you the noise, how the thing works. Fantastic tube, recommended exhaust, great sound, fantastic sound as you could actually hear a few minutes ago. All right, uh, the next step is to test it around and to make sure this WD-40 uh, residue uh, is uh, burned out and there's not, and hopefully there's not an air leak in there. All right.